Welcome to the Will Muschamp Show. Behind a solid defense, the Gamecocks were tied at half seven all with number nine Texas A&M. And then some, uh, a, a drop punt and some missed field goals and the Gamecocks let the Aggies off the hook. Texas A&M wins it 24-13. Coach, I, I know you didn't come to Carolina to have moral victories, but boy, your team played hard tonight against a very good ball club. Well, I'm really proud of our players. Uh, they, they certainly played extremely hard, played with the urgency and the energy we're talking about, had better mental focus on what we're trying to do, started the game fast. Really proud of them, but we're not in this for second place. We're in this to win games. We had opportunities there as the game wore on to make plays as, as coaches, as players, myself included, and uh, we've got to do a better job for the University of South Carolina. Brandon McElwain struggled a little bit, but how about all these young players that you had to put out there tonight, Coach? At one time, we counted five players in an offensive set that were either freshmen or redshirt freshmen, and I don't know how they overcame that, including your quarterback. Well, again, it's, it's, it's been a little bit of a challenge just because of the use and then all the firsts that are happening. Uh, really compliment our offensive staff and the job they did tonight against probably the, one of the better defenses we'll see this year. Really being able to move the ball for the most part, having close to 400 yards. Um, we had some opportunities to finish in the red zone, and we had a penalty on the holding call and uh, in just a couple situations. We just got to finish those plays. We'll talk more about your defense and the great job they did against Texas A&M's offense. On our Palmetto Health Injury Report, Coach, I know Rashad Fenton was not out there. He was not out there for a key play in which you had to send Jamarcus King back to return the punt that was, it was fumbled late in the game. Well, Rashad had a little bit of an ankle, was a little bit gimpy. We did not put him back in the game on defense as well. Uh, disappointed for Jamarcus. He's such a wonderful young man. He's worked extremely hard. Uh, you know, he didn't mean to drop it. You know, we got to square up a little bit more on the ball. We, we've had two of those, now three this year, two in this game uh, that have hurt us. You had three corners. Rashad then goes out. Jamarcus made the stop on third down and then had to go back and do that. So, but he's going to be back. Is that right? Fingers? Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. I think, I'm, I think we'll get Devo and Brian back. You know, they both were right at that cusp, and I'm not going to put a player out there to risk any further injury. It's our Palmetto Health Injury Report. When we come back, highlights with Coach from williams Bryce Stadium. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. America's workers are passionate about building better lives for themselves and their families. Colonial Life is passionate about helping them with benefits that preserve and protect what they work so hard to build even if challenging times get in their way. When you need us most, we're there, and we've been there for 75 years. Colonial Life, the benefits of good, hard work. Win the opportunity to be the next Farm Bureau Insurance fan on the field. Witness pregame warm-ups from the sidelines. Winners receive two game tickets, pregame field passes, and autograph merchandise. Visit usccontest.com to register today. Fan on the Field is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Get the membership advantage. No! My new friends went online and challenged me to find their perfect match. So, let's see how we did. Oh my God. <laughs> we look good together. I think I'm in love. Nice job, matchmaker. Thanks. With everything Ford has to offer, power and performance, smart technology, and five-star safety, it's easy to see why Ford is America's favorite brand. Now, get zero for 72 on a well-equipped 2016 F-150 or Super Duty. Make a connection at your Carolina Ford dealer today. Join us every week at Wild Wing Cafe for Carolina Calls with head coach Will Muschamp from 7 till 8 p.m. Wild Wing Cafe is Columbia's home for hot wings, cold beer, and good times. Tune into Carolina Calls every week and go to wildwingcafe.com for more information.
Welcome back. A gorgeous day at williams Bryce Stadium. This week's highlights presented by Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. And coach, right off the bat, A.J. Turner left side on the sweep. Well, it's a down around play. It's one of our base plays. Extremely well blocked down the field. Uh, blocked well at the point of attack. Compliment our offensive staff and our, and our players are really doing a nice job of getting a hat on a hat in the run game. And then A.J. finishing the run. Some nice downfield blocking. Second time at williams Bryce Stadium, the first play from scrimmage, you get a touchdown from it. And here's a play you thought you had him a bad snap to Trevor Knight. And well, we came out of coverage when he fumbled the snap, and unfortunately, but, uh, but that's a you know, tough deal there. And then they hit the seven cut down here on us. Pretty nice throw on their part, but two explosive plays that really led to, to this touchdown. And that's really the open the game and open the second half. You look at explosive plays that enable them to do that. That was a seven play drive for 75 yards. And you're back on offense with Brandon McElwain. The quarterback run today was pretty darn good. Well, it was very good. You know, we looked into some look back situations to get us in the right look. That's a tough deal to tip pass right there. Uh, but defense comes out here on third and four. You see their slot receivers blocking our guy down the field. We got to get that corrected. Uh, but, uh, but a really nice job by our defense finishing this drive here, holding them to a field goal attempt and it's wide on the attempt. But, you know, again, I want to compliment our fans as well as a great um, you know, environment, and it makes a difference for our football team right there. But they hit the deep ball on third down. We pressured them there. Yeah, that, that's a tough one. we got to keep them backed up. That's a huge flip of the field. And then they go for it on fourth down right here, and then we do a nice job in the cover. we got to tighten Steven down a little bit. The route was run short, so that's an issue on A&M's part. But we need, to, we need to have tighter coverage in that situation right there. Uh, really nice job rounding the football, uh, Rashad Fenton, DJ Smith. You see our guys are excited. They're enjoying the game. It's fun to watch. A really nice run by Rico Dowd on the inside zone. You see a guy that's got really good lower body power running through contact, which is important. And we get the counter play exactly what we wanted here and uh, really well called and well executed by our players. And, and we got a holding call right there. We'll go back and, and look at that. But, but, but it was a well-blocked play at 7-7 with a very good football team at the half. Yeah, number nine in the country. They've been averaging 43 points per game and over 545 yards. This is their freshman tailback coach, and you can see why he's averaging 9.7 yards a run. Well, we got to hem the ball up. We missed the tackle on the second level. We missed fit the run, uh, but we've got to keep it all hemmed up. And this is a really nice execution by our players. We leak Hayden out the back on the punt, and uh, something that was very well thrown by Sean Kelly and Coleman Hudson, our special teams coordinator, does a great job of giving me good ideas. And we called the fake, and it worked. And then. Uh, we come in there with Elliott, and then he just a little wide and disappointed, you know, that he didn't kick the ball better, but nobody's going to work harder to, to do it better than Elliott. He's a, a great young man. Nice job with the three-man pressure. This guy was really loose with the football. That's a great job of knocking the ball off of him. I wish Chris had gotten that thing in the end zone for us right there. Uh, but again, another turnover, momentum play for our football team. You see here on the speed option, we felt like we had a crease inside. They overran the play and actually checked out of the look to get what they wanted. And then uh, Elliott right there comes back and gets us in, uh, through the uprights to cut it to a four-point game. we got a pressure coming off the edge right there and just great coverage by Chris LeMond. I mean, really nice overlap by Chaz Elder from the middle of the field. Well pressured on the play, but wow, nice play. Going and works himself in phase with the receiver, makes a play on the ball. Here we got second and eight, and we just got to, you know, TJ's got to close out of the backfield a little bit quicker with the back right there to really push through. Uh, to try and cover that guy in a man covered situation, and this was close. I mean, I thought we had a knee down right there inside the one. Probably would have been a first and goal for them, but puts it to an 11 point game and put Perry in the game, and we answer and come back really nice. He checked to this based on their look in the slot to hit an inside fade. And then we come back and we feel like we're going to get three automatic points. We don't get it. We're going to cut it to an eight point game, a one score game. But our defense gets the ball back really good, designed by our offense, blocked extremely well down the field. And, you know, A.J. Turner running extremely hard right here. Goes over 100 yards for the first time in his career and Perry Orth into the game. Nice block there on the outside by Casey Crosby, who caught one on this drive as well. And another 43 yard attempt, and this time Elliott Fry gets it down. It's the first time he's missed two field goals since Vanderbilt in 2015, and that was when he was trying a 55-yarder. And there's a crucial play, Coach. Well, you know, you know, three minutes to go in the game. We got exactly what we want. We kicked the, the field goal to cut it to an eight-point game to get the ball back. Our, our guys got the ball back. They go kick the field goal, make it an 11-point game. That's the final 24-13 to at Williams-Brice Stadium, a team that was averaging 43 points a game and running up down the field on everybody. Carolina can't find enough offense to get the win. Hey, when we come back on the Will Muschamp Show, you got to see this interview. 
with our defensive coordinator, coordinator Traverius Robinson. That'll be when we come back. Invited to the official watch party at Steve Tanny Hill's Group Therapy. There will be drawings for great prizes, drink specials, and former Gamecock football players to watch the game with. Over the last 10 years, Firehouse Subs Public Safety Foundation has awarded more than $20 million to first responders and public safety organizations across the country. More than one million of that has gone to organizations in the state of South Carolina. Between now and the Georgia game, each time you visit a Columbia area Firehouse Subs and round up while paying, you'll make a contribution to first responders. What does No Limits mean to me? Cultivating bold thinkers. Connecting students to the global economy. A commitment to life-changing discovery. Improving healthcare for everyone, young and old. An amazing student experience. Academic excellence across campus. What does No Limits mean to me? Where do I begin? Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry, no. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. My new friends went online and challenged me to find their perfect match. So, let's see how we did. <laughs> we look good together. I think I'm in love. Nice job, matchmaker. Thanks. With everything Ford has to offer, power and performance, smart technology, and five-star safety, it's easy to see why Ford is America's favorite brand. Now, get zero for 72 on a well-equipped 2016 F-150 or Super Duty. Make a connection at your Carolina Ford dealer today. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that Safe Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, Safe offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. Safe Federal Credit Union. Your money is better here. Welcome back into the Will Muschamp Show. We're in the Cruise Building in the defensive team room with defensive coordinator Traverius Robinson, Coach T. Robinson, he's affectionately known. And Coach, before we talk too much defense and football, uh, it's your first year at Carolina. How's your family enjoying the Columbia and Carolina community? They're really loving it. Um, we stay out in um, Blythewood, yeah. up in Lake Carolina, so we're excited about that. And you know, my, my family really likes it. Um, my wife get a chance to, you know, it's the first place we've been that had a, you know, a city life to it. Um, right. All the other places we've been, you know, it's been all college community type deal and you know my wife really enjoys going out on the town having dinner and doing those things like that so it's been really, really exciting our wives have that in common that's right <laughs> coach uh, when you go to speak to clinics or you talk to recruits what do you tell them about your philosophy about defense I, I guess people like on offense they want to hear that from the coordinator what do you say well you know our defense is um a very deny the ball type of defense. We want to get down on guys and want to play a lot of bump and run. Obviously, you know, going into our first year, you know, little things are different at times, mm -hmm. you know, dealing, dealing with the personnel and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, we like to play a lot of um, five-man pressure. We like to get on people. We want to play some three down and four down and be able to do those different things. So, you know, we're excited about it. Coach, with your energy and Will Muschamp's intensity, this being your third stop with him, it's almost, I think of it as two planets colliding and I'm wondering how y'all communicate you're such intense guys at least on the field That's I know right. you're a little more laid back but how has that relationship <laughs> developed and y'all being able to work together you know what man we've been been doing it for a long time mm -hmm. um, that's one of my best friends in the world um, but we have a great, you know, personal relationship and also a great business relationship. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we do a great job of separating the, um, the two. Um, but, you know, you know, sometimes we go into it and he played bad cop, I played good cop. <laughs> sometimes he played bad cop and I forget to play good cop and I play bad cop. <laughs> you know, but, you know, we, we just kind of, you know, been doing it a long time to develop a lot of guys um, at a lot of different positions. And um, I understand how he wants it done. 
Um, I understand the, the plan for the program, and I understand that, you know, right now we're just getting the proper pieces in place to be able to do that. Now, you do have relentless energy. Where does that come from? You're still a young man, I realize that, but it's a little beyond just the young man coach on the football field. <laughs> it had to come from somewhere where you take that to the well, practice field well, and to game days. You know what? I love football. And um, I tell our guys all the time, man, football is a, a tough, tough game. It's a lot of stuff involved. There's a lot of preparation involved. And sometimes it ain't always, it ain't always fun. You know, and we try to tell them, you know, it's fun, but sometimes it's not fun to get up every morning at mm -hmm. 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock and practice and go through all the stuff and coaches yelling at you and doing all that's not fun. But if you have a genuine love for something, like you love your family, you know, you got genuine love for something, you, you put your best effort forth. And um, I think our guys are starting to feed off our energy. Um, and I think, you know, I grew up that way. You right. know, I'm from Miami. Um, you know, football is very important down there. I know you guys seen some of the Pop Warner stuff and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I, I love football and I love being around it. And, and you know what, to be honest, it's nothing I'd rather be doing. Now, you've been called the number one recruiter in the country several times without giving away trade secrets. What are some of the things that you do to make sure you're developing relationships and attracting student athletes to South Carolina? I'm honest. And, you know, that's the one thing, like when people come to our practices, when they come sit in our meeting rooms, they see me exactly how they're going to see me when I get here. Mm -hmm. I don't try to pretend that I'm something else. I don't try to pretend that I'm not. No, you know what? We're going to be really nice off the field. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be at my house. You're going to be around my family. You know, I'm going to have you over. We're going to do things like that. But at the end of the day, my job is to get you prepared to go to the next level if that's something that you want to do. My job is to prepare you to be a better human being if that's what you want to do. And, you know, I take that seriously. And um, I think the guys can see that. And obviously, I'm a young guy. So, you know, the, 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 I listen to the same type of music they might listen to mm -hmm. sometimes. So I know a couple of things to get in a little different than other people. Um, but, you know, really, the truth of the matter is, is the relationship that I have with the kids, you know, the continuous contact that I have with them as far as text messaging now, you know, Twitter, all the different things like that. So just, you know, being around them a bunch. Yeah, your, uh, your choice of music is infamous at 5.40 in the morning, I heard you get to pull out the DJ <laughs> occasionally. I don't even want to know what you pull out. Listen, listen, listen. I'm very versatile with my music now. I want you to know that. <laughs> they said um, I think there was some 90s hip-hop. I, I, got, I got some of that. You know, because like some that. guys don't know anything about, you know, Tupac and Biggie. But, you know, I kind of I, I kind of mess them up a little bit when I put on Garth Brooks. Right? So, <laughs> you're yeah. versatile. You, you're oh, good yeah. at all genres. Listen, I went to school at Auburn. You know, <laughs> That's very true. country town. So, you know, I kind of I kind of know a little bit about country music. He's Coach T. Rob, our defensive coordinator at the University of South Carolina. We thank, thank you for visiting with us on the Will Muschamp Show. We'll be right back. Now at Bilo, prices are down and staying down on the things you buy most. So visit your local Bilo and pick up all of your game day essentials. Bilo, premier grocery partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. The 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie.
Good hard work has earned Monica York the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the cross country team, York is a junior exercise science major with a 3.658 GPA. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Christian Kirk stands at the 30 yard line. Fake opportunity, has a man, Hurst wide open at the 40. He's to midfield. Big collision at the 40, and there's the fake punt. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play? Coach, on a fourth down, your special teams comes out with a fake punt. Sean Kelly with a great throw to Hayden Hurst, who sold it all the way, and it at least gave your offense a chance to get down into range to score some more points. Well, they had scored to start the second half, and I felt like we lost momentum in the game. We needed to do something to get the momentum back. Credit our players, they did a great job executing. Now our Terminex Pest player of the game, that goes to A.J. Turner, not only the 75-yarder to start the ball game, but A.J. goes over 100 yards the first time. Continues to get better, and the game continues to slow down for a young player. Excited about A.J.'s future. Be nice to have Rico and David in there to help him out and spell him. And Show if it'll it'll work a little bit in his favor for AJ Turner. Hey, next you got to see it: the Hyundai sights and sounds around Williams Bryce Stadium before Texas A&M. Now it's time for this week's Hyundai sights and sounds of game day. This one kicks off between Texas A&M ranked ninth in the country and your fighting Gamecocks. McElwain on first and ten. A.J. Turner to his right. Three wide receivers set. Four man front. They'll sweep it with Turner left side. Got a man in front of him. A.J. broke down at the 40. At the 50 down the sideline. Tripped up at the 30. Still on his feet at the 20. Cuts back at the 15. 10, 5. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown, A.J. Turner. Snap it back. Put it down. La Camara puts his foot into it. Plenty long. The students say no, and so do the officials. The Gamecocks got a stop on the Aggies. John Kelly running to his right. He's faking it. He's got a man open. It's Hurst caught the 40. At the 50. Hayden into Texas a and territory and knocked out of bounds. Oh, my. Why not? Okay. Knight, third down and five. Looking right. Now over the middle. Now wants to run, hit, fumbles the football into the arms of the Gamecocks. That's Chris Moody at the 35, trying to get a block. Moody with a good cut at the 30 down to the 29-yard line. Oh, my! Yeah. Carolina in a four-man front. Knight wants to throw it, standing in the pocket, down the far sideline, into coverage. And did Chris Lamont come up with it? He did! Chris Lamont with the interception. The final, Texas A&M 24, the Gamecocks 13. Now, Gamecocks everywhere can support their beloved university year-round at the USC Alumni Center. Our spirit capital is the place to support student learning, connect to each other, and advocate for Carolina, no matter where you are in the world. Alumni, students, faculty, staff, and fans, we are ready to welcome you home. Visit mycarolina.org and stay connected forever to be. As the Gamecocks are set to kick off, remember that SAFE Federal Credit Union is your financial MVP. As a proud sponsor of USC Athletics, SAFE offers custom USC debit cards with each checking account. Enjoy no monthly service charge, no minimum balance requirement, and show your spirit each time you use your debit card. SAFE Federal Credit Union, your money is better here. 
the 2016 Nissan Altima. An IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus. With forward emergency braking that could stop for you. Get to your local Nissan store today. Take on sudden stops. Get to Nissan, a proud partner of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Go Gamecocks! Crowds in Midtown today mean only one thing. Everyone is ready for the next-gen iPhone. And so is Verizon, with the only next-gen network that lets you make the most of it. LTE Advance delivers 50% faster peak speeds to over 450 cities coast to coast. The next-gen iPhone deserves the next-gen network. And right now, get our best offer ever, an iPhone 7 on us. Good or better? The Hyundai Sonata versus the Toyota Camry. The Sonata has an available panoramic sunroof. The Camry? No. In the Sonata, available Android Auto. The Camry, no again. <laughs> and only the Hyundai is backed by America's best warranty. Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. The 2017 Sonata from Hyundai. Gamecock football with Coach Will Muschamp is brought to you by Wild Wing Cafe. We've got just the thing to make you wild. Gamecock Football with Coach Will Muschamp is a production of Gamecock Sports Marketing. Welcome back to the Will Muschamp Show. The Gamecocks fall to 2-3 and three on the season. And another big tester next week is the Georgia Bulldogs from the SEC East coming to town. It's time for our Keys to the Game brought to you by Toyota. Toyota, let's go places. Coach Kirby Smart in his first year. They've had two ball games in a row. They take the losses and won dramatically today against Tennessee, lose on a Hail Mary. Well, again, two hurt football teams right now, and uh, certainly we're excited about playing at home. And, um, and I plead our fans, and I know they will, to get out there early and be ready to roll. And, and we'll, we'll give them a good show. Our guys are I already kind of transitioned our, our team a little bit after the game to, to start getting ready for Georgia. Coach, what do you do with your quarterback at this situation? Uh, Brandon McElwain played fine for you, but Perry obviously moved the team there late in the – mid to late fourth quarter to get you in a position to score again. Your thoughts on how you evaluate that this week? Well, we'll look at the film tomorrow, and, and, and Kurt and I will sit down and talk about what's best for our football team and helping us win right now. Great atmosphere again. Gamecocks took on number nine Texas A&M, but falls short. We'll see you next week at uh, williams Bryce Stadium for the Georgia Bulldogs in town. We'll see you next week as well on the Will Muschamp Show.